Good morning, everybody. My name is Cody Muma. I'm the pastor of Student Ministries here at Integrity Community Church. And actually, today I'm supposed to be with you sharing from God's Word, but obviously I'm not. I'm actually sitting here in the Sheridan uh, Gateway Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, and I'm not going to be back for a little while. Uh, hopefully, by the time you see this, I will be on a plane on my way there. But it has been a long, long week. Uh, me and two other guys have been doing a uh, preparation trip for our summer missions trip to Guatemala, um, nailing down some uh, important details uh, that over the coming weeks we will share with you, um, and some really exciting things that that God has has done for us. Um, but I just wanted to take a couple minutes, uh, not a long time. If you just give me. Uh, five minutes to to listen God showed us something on the way here um, we, we've had the opportunity through this delay and through the many places that we've been able to go to meet some incredible people and we've learned so much on this trip we've come down to prepare for our missions trip but we have learned so much we've come away with a new sense of awe at how great God is. Um, so many verses came to mind, uh, but we, we discussed following God's call um, into wherever that means. If it means going to Guatemala, or if it means um, serving Him in your work, or or when you're alone, or I don't I don't know where it might be for you. But we were discussing those who are coming to Guatemala, and. We looked in Acts chapter 21 and verse 12, and Paul here has just learned uh, that he will be apprehended when he goes to Jerusalem. He knows he has to go there, but he learns that he is going to be apprehended, and those that are around him, they're not too happy about this. In fact, Luke writes in Acts chapter 21, verse 12, he says, when we heard this, we and the people there urged him not to go up to Jerusalem. And then Paul answered, What are you doing weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be in prison, but even to, to, to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And since he would not be persuaded, we ceased and said, Let the will of the Lord be done. Let me encourage you to uh, really seek out what God's calling you to do in your life. and and. Where, where fear may come in, uh, take on this kind of, of mind of where you're not just willing to go and do it if, if there's not much risk to it, but regardless of the consequence, regardless of the cost to you, even if it comes down to where it costs your life, you would be ready to give that for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And specifically, as we talk about going to Guatemala, the risk is not there, really. It's not great at all um, to our lives. But even if it was, would be would we be willing to go? I know that I would be, and it's something that we asked each other while we were here to evaluate. We we've prayed about it, and we thought, and I know I'd be willing to, to do that. And uh, that's a difficult thing to say because it, you you do have to count the cost. But for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Would we be willing to give everything? And what, a, what an appropriate day to do this as we hear from the heart of a missionary, um, as we celebrate our graduates. Uh, those of you that are graduating, I'm sorry I can't be there for this, this day, but congratulations uh, from me personally, and I, I can't wait to get back and, and tell you that uh, on my own, but, but I want to share that with you. Uh, God's Word is amazing. And I want to leave you with a verse that uh, maybe for some of you uh, special. It's uh, out of Psalm 139, verse 9. Um, as we watched God lead us through this trip this week, uh, we came down to prepare, but he had so much more in store for us. And he took care of us in so many instances where we weren't sure um, of the next step. Psalm 139, 9 says, If I take the wings of the morning... And I dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there will your hand guide me. Even there your right hand will uphold me. 
And I want to encourage you with that, that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, God is there. Thanks so much for letting me share with you a little bit today. I look forward to being with you again. And I just want to thank Stephen and just all of the teams, the media team, the worship team, um, everybody who, who puts into to providing a, a tremendous opportunity to worship uh, the Lord Jesus Christ uh, today. Thank you so much for, for being there for me when um, I'm having to deal with this. Uh, God bless you guys, and I will see you soon. Take care.